First of all, I want to thank everybody for being here. Welcome to the village of Bensonville. I'd like to personally thank Governor Pat Quinn uh, for being here today. DuPage County board members, Paul Fickner, uh, our trustees on the village board, Bob Jarecki and Joellen Ritter, uh, for being here for this important event. I especially want to thank the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency, the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, and the Illinois Clean Energy Program. Uh, together, they've awarded the village over $1.2 million in grant funding that, was, uh, that allowed us to finance this project through the Clean uh, the Water Quality Revolving Loan Program. Without programs like this, municipalities could not do these type of projects. So partnering, partnering with the state has helped us bring this project to life, and I really want to thank the governor for all of his help and his support and for being here today. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I want to thank uh, Mayor Soto and all of the mayors who are uh, really involved with us on a very important mission. We believe in clean water all the time, and our clean water initiative is uh, helping Bensonville. We're also announcing our investment in Addison, an investment as well in Wooddale, and also an investment in Elmhurst. Uh, those are four communities here in DuPage County. We're creating a lot of jobs. Uh, very important jobs that help us with our clean water and our wastewater treatment. It's extremely important for us to uh, get more jobs by investing in water technology and water improvement. Today, we got very good news. Uh, the unemployment rate again dropped in Illinois. It's dropped in the last two months more than any other time in state history. Uh, the unemployment rate today is lower uh, than uh, last month and the month before. Matter of fact, it's at its lowest level since November of 2008. We're creating jobs in Illinois. It's important we continue to do that with investments like this one here. It will create a lot of jobs. I talked to some of the workers coming over and I want to thank all of the men and women who are involved in our workforce in Illinois. We understand that the number one issue is economic growth and jobs for hardworking people. And that's why this investment in Bensonville and investment in all the other communities nearby is so important. We've got to keep the momentum going. We're never ever going to stop in Illinois. We've got to keep investing in important projects, projects that create employment and bring new businesses and keep existing businesses growing in our state. Our philosophy and our motto is, if you're breathing, we want you working in Illinois. We understand how important jobs are. You know, I want to thank the mayor. We have a clean water initiative that we began a couple of years ago. We're investing $2 billion in the importance of water. Uh, one of the big issues in our country is going to be access to clean water, to wastewater treatment. Other states have a lot of challenges. We're lucky in Illinois that we have abundant water, but we must be good stewards of our waterways and our water that we have. And that's why these investments are so important today. They put people to work on doing things that make us more competitive than ever before. And it's important that we understand that the men and women who do these jobs have great skills. We have and are blessed in Illinois with skilled workers, men and women who know how to do very complex jobs, do it right, do it on budget. And I do want to thank all of those who are in the trades, who work so hard, who build together, to work together to build important things that last for a long period of time. There was a saying by Mark Twain a long time ago when it was about water. He said, whiskey's for drinking and water's worth fighting for. So we got to keep fighting for water in Illinois because this is one of our competitive advantages that our state, we have the access to water and have the workers that know how to deal with these issues that can bring businesses here and keep businesses growing here as well. I want to bring forward now our director of the Envir Environmental Protection Agency, a very important agency. He having clean air, clean water, and taking good care of our soil is very, very important to all of us in Illinois. It creates jobs. And we understand that if we have a growing economy, uh, that's the best way to build and maintain a middle class in our state. Good jobs with a good standard of living, investing in the environment makes sense. It's green and it creates a lot of green dollars. So Lisa Bennett, come on forward and let's hear it from you.
Thank you, Governor Quinn, for really your strong leadership in ensuring clean and safe water for Illinois residents. Governor Quinn's Clean Water Initiative is making significant improvements to the quality of the water of Illinois' rivers, lakes, and streams. And we all know that the, our Illinois' water bodies are necessary to the health of our communities and to the health of our, our environment. I thank you to local officials as well for bringing these projects forward. It's communities like Bensonville and the other DuPage communities that through your leadership and vision, you understand the importance of providing clean and safe water to your residents, but you also understand the investment today provides for long-term economic growth. So thank you for that. The Governor Quinn's Clean Water Initiative is really a win-win for all of us. He not only is providing the financing we need today to protect our community and our citizens, but he's investing in our future. These projects will provide for the water infrastructure that is needed for 40 plus years to the future. So again, thank you, Governor and local officials for bringing these projects forward for the citizens of Illinois. All right, well, thank you, Lisa, well done. Thank you. I wanna thank Lisa for being the architect and helping us move this uh, clean water initiative forward. We're investing $69 million in four different communities in order to really help uh, our progress and support our environmental protection agency works with the communities, works with the contractors, and makes this a reality. We have more people working in Illinois today than any other time in the past five years. That's what we have to understand. By investing in projects like this, it keeps the momentum going. We have to keep on working hard, and someone who understands hard work and skilled work is John Bosky, who is the business manager of Local 265 of the Sheet Metal Workers, and he's president of the DuPage County Building Trades Council. I grew up in DuPage County. I uh, golfed over there at White Pines, <laughs> lost a lot of golf balls here in Bensonville, and I want John to come forward and speak for all the workers in DuPage County. Go ahead, take it from there. Thank you, Governor. On behalf of uh, myself, and uh, our secretary, Frank Furco, and all the uh, affiliates and delegates of the DuPage County Building Trades Council, mostly on behalf of the thousands of men and women who get up every morning and put on a pair of steel-toed boots and put a lunchbox under their arm and a hard hat on their head and go off to a construction site, I want to thank Mayor Soto and all the elected politicians in Illinois to help make this job possible. Especially, I want to thank Governor Quinn. We all know how hard Governor Pat Quinn works to bring good jobs to Illinois. And infrastructure jobs are good paying jobs. But more than just the jobs they provide, they provide something else, a quality of life for our children and grandchildren to be able to drink clean water, drive on paved roads, cross bridges that don't fall down. We're very grateful for Governor Quinn's leadership here. The men and women that are gonna work on this project and all the ones in the future, just wanna say thanks. From the bottom of our heart, thank you, Governor. All right, John, you're good man. Thank you, John. Good man. Right. Thanks, John. And I do want to thank Frank Furco with the DuPage County Building Trades as well, and our good friend from the Cook County uh, Building Trades. He's always with us when we need him, uh, and that's Tom Villanova. Tom, where are you here? I know you're here. I just saw you here. There you are. Okay. Thank you, Tom, for being with us. And I also saw Mike uh, turning in the uh, uh, audience. He's with the United with UA and the Plumbers Local 130, uh, a great union indeed. IBW Local 701 is here. We work with our environmentalists, the Sierra Club. We want to thank them for their commitment to our clean water initiative. And John Spatz is here from the DuPage Water Commission. He's the general manager. We have a key understanding that water is going to drive the 21st century economy. Some places in America uh, do not have the kind of access to water we have. We've got to keep making these investments to get the jobs we want to have. And Dan Cisco is the executive director of Cisco. Thank you for being here. And Dewey Parati, uh, president of the Forest Preserve of DuPage County. Thank you for your commitment to the environment, a lifelong commitment. Very, very important. I think I'll bring forward here.
Chris Meister, who is uh, our executive director of the Illinois Finance Authority. Want him to say a few words about the Clean Water Initiative. We've had over 64 communities in Illinois participate with our EPA and with the Finance Authority. It's very, very important. We get the word out to all the towns in Illinois, whether it's in downstate, we're in Pekin with their wastewater treatment plant. Whether it's in the city of Chicago, they have some water mains that were laid during the administration of Ulysses S. Grant. Uh, I think we gotta do something about that, okay? And I think it's important that we work together, whether it's the suburbs, the city, or downstate. We got work to do, and Chris, why don't you give us a little outline of how we've done, okay? All right, very good. Thank you, Governor. My name's Chris Meister. I'm executive director of the Illinois Finance Authority. On behalf of uh, our chairman, Bill Brandt, and the rest of our volunteer board, including our neighbor here in Bensonville, uh, Mayor Barrett Peterson of Franklin Park, uh, we're happy to work with, with uh, Governor Quinn, and in particular with our partners, Director Lisa Bonnet, her team at the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency. Um, this is what Crane Chicago Business said last November about Governor Quinn's Clean Water Initiative. There is still a small corner of Illinois government where the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and the bonds are rated AAA. And certainly today, the birds are chirping and the sun is shining. Last fall, we went um, uh, to the capital markets. We borrowed just over $130 million dollars at the lowest uh, cost of capital then available, and we were able to take those funds and double Director Bonnet and IEPA's uh, immediately available funds from $400 million to $800 million. That is a small step on, on the way to the $2 billion goal that Governor Quinn has set for IEPA and the IFA. We are well on our way there. A word about these loans, these are direct loans at the lowest cost of capital available directly to Illinois local governments to bring their sewer and water systems up to U.S. EPA clean water and sewer standards. Um, uh, they have very low transaction costs, but we need to persuade people like Mayor Soto, our host today, to put the effort in to make the application because, again, these are federal funds. It takes some engineering, it takes some thought, it takes some work, and it takes a commitment of revenue to repay these bonds. But at the end of the day, this is the lowest interest that's gonna be available to local governments for these programs, and lowest cost, of, lowest cost of money means larger projects, more man and woman hours for the unionized uh, uh, buildings and trades, uh, and uh, at lower cost, to uh, local government ratepayers and taxpayers. Thank you, Governor. All right, well done, Mayor Thank you. The bottom line for the finance people is by getting these investments, they pay dividends in terms of jobs today and jobs tomorrow. And we have, in the past two months, reduced our unemployment by nearly one point. Uh, the, it's at the lowest level since November of 2008. We want to keep on driving it down and keep on keep, get, getting jobs for everyday people. And if you have any questions, we'll try and answer. Okay, I want to thank you very much for uh, listening. And I want to thank everybody here for working. That's what we believe in. Okay. <laughs>